in this video i would like to cover three points directly okay one point is a task second service the third one is cluster so that in the next video i'm going to directly give you a practical scenario how to configure that one so the task is nothing but just run the task definition which you created and that's it for example you created like a docker composer up right in your local machine and that that was run running fine right so you just ran that task for particular time just one time so if you want to run that service that task definition which you whichever you configured in your docker container just need to tell the service i just wanted to check one time that whether my task is running or not okay that task is running fine so uh, to create task we need to have a service first uh, no we do, we need to have a cluster first so we can do that one as well uh, so and second point will be like the service okay so what is service so service is a collection of tasks right so service will be responsible for maintaining tasks okay if something goes down and one task is not running it will automatically launch the next task so it is related to the management how your service is running so the service will be maintained by aws because you remember we selected the aws target launch type so all the services inside uh, uh, the in one of the cluster will be maintained like that so, so the third point is the, what is cluster cluster will be having multiple uh, services in it and one service will be having multiple tasks in it okay so let's quickly go and create one cluster like this and then i'm gonna create a bookshop now <coughs> remember you have to create a one default namespace so what is namespace that i'm gonna tell you in later on so put exactly the same namespace of your cluster whatever the cluster you have and don't worry i'm gonna tell you this one later on uh, what is namespace and everything so just create a monitor and uh, just use this one guys please don't skip this one please please do write default namespace as bookshop okay so let's quickly create it and it will be created soon as soon as it will create uh, the task uh, sorry the cluster we can first try to create one task okay so what i'm gonna do uh, i'm gonna uh, go with go and creating one task okay so to check whether my task is running fine or not okay if you want that task to run continuously and you don't have to bother about maintaining it and everything then you can configure the task in, into one of the services okay so let's let me go and try to show you that how you can create both okay so let's get started by creating first the task see both are services and tasks so now you have to say that run a new task go inside this one launch type you uh, i don't have to provide any like um, create any capacity provider that's fine i have to run individual task so if i go over here what it does is like hey uh, i found one user api task definition which i have already created over here so it all automatically pull that task definition into the task right so that's how it linked it second point the task group if you want to add something like that so i'll just keep it like you users uh, users uh, api or uh, something like that that's fine and nothing fancy okay so uh, that's pretty much it i think so so if i'm going to networking networking should be fine we can keep it simple um container overrides now yeah, that's all good uh that's pretty much it so if i go and uh, create this one so what it does is it will uh, launch one of the service and that will be that will keep running we uh, that is like just for testing purposes that okay my task is running fine and then if that is running fine just check that box and we are good to go right so just need to wait yeah so that is running fine so if i go in into the task what all you have to do is like uh, go to network binding here and then if you open this one and then select docs and see your task is running fine so that's pretty much it you are uh, successfully deployed uh, your first task now let's see how we can bind that task to uh, multiple services or just one service will be having multiple tasks so hey guys uh, please do delete whatever you are creating because it might charge you a lot but uh, that is far it it won't charge you a lot uh, it's like two usd dollars and something like that so just is first to stop it 
as soon as you stop it it will delete everything see this one now the thing is that you have to create the service uh, inside the service we will be having multiple uh, tasks let's see in the next video thanks for watching